Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. In today's What's for Dinner video, I'll be sharing with you what meals we had this past week. Our dinners were easy to make, budget friendly, and delicious. So if you're looking for some weeknight meal ideas for your family, just keep watching. For dinner this first night, I made brown sugar bourbon pork chops. I had this package of brown sugar bourbon marinade mix in my pantry that I really needed to use up about this months ago at Aldi. So I'm just going to follow this according to the package instructions. And as I was getting ready to mix this up, I noticed at the bottom it gave a little variation that you could add some orange juice and I happened to have it on hand. So all I did was, like I said, mix it up according to the package instructions. I just used a little bit of the orange juice like it suggested. And I'm going to add that to a Ziploc bag bag along with the pork chops and I marinated this overnight but I'm sure just a few hours would be just fine. To go along with this, I've been really craving the cheesy vegetable casserole from Kristen Stepp's channel. She shared this a while back. This is her dad's recipe. I'll have her video linked down below. And I've made it, I know for sure at least once before. I may have made it a second time. But y'all, I don't know what it is about the combination of these ingredients. But this is delicious. Highly recommend you give this recipe a try. All right, so I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I have her dad's recipe, by the way. And it makes a very generous 9 by 9 casserole. So what I'm going to do is add in some mixed vegetables to this pot. Now Kristen's dad also suggests for you to peel and cut up a potato. Um, I did that the first time. This time though I had a can of already diced potatoes on hand. So I'm just going to wait and add that uh, can of diced potatoes in at the end. But once I've added in the mixed vegetables and again if you're using raw potatoes add those raw potatoes in now. But we're going to season this generously with some salt, pepper, and minced onion cover it with water, and then we're going to boil the vegetables until they are tender and drain them really well. I've added those drained veggies back to the pot. I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of butter, give that a stir, and cook that for just a minute or two until the butter is melted. Next, I'm going to add in a can of cream of chicken soup. Now, this is what uh, Kristen's dad uses, so that's what I'm going to use. If you don't like cream of chicken, I'm sure you could do cream of celery, cream of mushroom, whatever you've got on hand. Next, we're going to add in some crushed up crackers. Her dad suggests using townhouse crackers, so that's what I'm going to use. I've got it on hand as well. We're going to add in our sour cream, shredded cheddar cheese. Give that a stir and then give this a taste and adjust the seasonings to your taste. You might need to add a little more salt or pepper. Next, we're going to add this to a greased casserole dish and spread that out. And like I said, this is generous. This is almost to the top of this casserole dish. Next, we're going to put on some Velveeta shreds. Now, her dad specifically um, suggests the Velveeta shreds for this recipe. So again, this is delicious. So, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm just doing <laughs> what he said. He knows what he's doing, obviously. So next, we're going to add on some more of those crushed up townhouse crackers. And then that's it. This is going to go into the preheated oven and bake for about 30 to 40 minutes or until it's golden brown. And you do want to let this sit for about 10 or 15 minutes before you serve it up. For the pork chops, I was going for easy this night. I decided to cook them in the air fryer. I removed them from the marinade, seasoned them with just a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I cooked them in the air fryer at 375 degrees for about five or six minutes. Gave it a flip, cooked it for another five or six minutes or so. How long you cook it really depends on how thick your pork chops are. You just want to cook them until they're at least 145 degrees internal temperature, and then I allowed them to rest for a couple minutes. I have these sister Schubert rolls in my freezer that I'm really trying to use up. So I'm going to cook these in the oven according to the package instructions. I also had some cinnamon butter. I got this at Kroger. So I set that out for us for our rolls. All right, here are the plates. So we've got the pork chops, the vegetable casserole, the rolls, and then some applesauce. This is just unsweetened applesauce. And this was so good. The marinade for the pork chops, pork chops, pork chops were good. And that vegetable casserole, like I said, y'all, it's, it's good. I recommend you give it a try. This was our dinner this night. For dinner the next night, I'm making chicken Caesar sandwiches. I'll have the recipe that I took inspiration from linked down below. I have some shredded romaine lettuce, 
Next for the Caesar dressing, I got this Gerard's um, dressing either at Kroger or Publix. I can't remember which one. We hadn't tried this before. We have tried their Greek feta dressing and it is delicious. I liked the Caesar okay. It wasn't my favorite. My husband really enjoyed it, but I think I like the Ken's Caesar dressing more, but just use whatever Caesar dressing you like. Next for the bread, I'm using some ciabatta rolls. Now, I've bought ciabatta rolls at various bakeries and grocery stores, but I got these at Food Lion, and I think these were my favorite. They were really tender and soft, just delicious. I have some deli uh, chicken breast tomato that I'm going to slice up and some Colby Jack cheese. All right, I didn't show me putting this together. Y'all know how to make a sandwich, um, but here is my plate. I spread the Caesar dressing on both sides of the sandwich roll, just like you would any other condiment. Added the lettuce, tomato, a little bit of salt and pepper, the chicken, a slice of the cheese, and then that was it for the sandwich. To go on this side, I've got a pickle, and then I know I've mentioned this a couple times in the past week or two, but right now I'm loving the Alexia sweet potato fries cooked in the air fryer, sprinkled with a little bit of the Kinder's brown sugar garlic seasoning. So good. And then somebody mentioned on one of my videos a long time ago that they like to dip their sweet potato fries in honey mustard. So I had a little bit of honey mustard in the fridge and we decided to try it. Delicious. So good. This dinner was super yummy, light, refreshing, just so good. Next up, I made a Fritos Catalina salad. This is basically a taco salad just with a couple variations. I'll have the recipe linked in the description box below. I'm gonna start out by making my taco meat. I've got some turkey here that I'm gonna brown up in a skillet. You could, of course, use uh, ground beef if you prefer. You could also do ground chicken. Once my turkey was cooked all the way, and I did season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, I'm going to add in some taco seasoning and a little bit of water and just allow that to simmer for maybe about 10 minutes or so. All right, so here's what I'm using for the salad. I have some romaine lettuce, Catalina dressing, and somebody had mentioned on a taco salad I made previously that they like to use the Western salad dressing. I think that would be really good in here as well. We have some chili beans. We're gonna drain and rinse those. Some shredded cheese. And while I was digging around for that shredded cheese, I found this little baggie. These are little Monterey Jack cheese cubes that I need to use up. So I'm gonna use that first, and if I need a little more cheese, I'll use the shredded. Now for the Fritos, the recipe called for just regular Fritos. I also had some chili cheese on hand. And um, while I was making our salads, I found some barbecue Fritos. So I ended up using the barbecue for mine. So good. We've got some tomatoes. And then the recipe did not call for bell peppers, but I had just a couple in my fridge, these little mini peppers. So I'm gonna use those as well. Here are the salads. All I did was lay down the lettuce, add all my other toppings, and then add some of the Fritos and Catalina dressing on top. And this was a yummy little salad. And this is something that I like about YouTube and Pinterest and Instagram is, you know, something simple like a taco salad. People make them all different ways. Normally I use like crushed up Doritos on mine, but trying these Fritos is a good little variation. And you know, it's nice that if I want a taco salad and I don't have any Doritos on hand and I've got Fritos, there you go. I can use them, but I recommend you all give this a try really yummy for dinner the next night i made sloppy joes now i've shared before on my channel that i personally i don't like manwich or canned sloppy joes sauces just a personal preference but hey nothing wrong with it if you like it open up that can and roll with it i've shared two uh, sloppy joe recipes before my channel and i like both of them i'll link them down in the description box below tonight i went with the pioneer woman's version so here are like the sauce ingredients we're going to use for this i've got some brown sugar chili powder dry mustard powder Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, minced garlic, not pictured is some water. And then her recipe doesn't call for barbecue sauce, but I decided to use it. And then um, she's got a couple uh, optional ingredients, red pepper flakes, which I just forgot to add. Tomato paste, I didn't have any on hand. And then Tabasco sauce, I skipped that. And of course you'll need salt and pepper. In this skillet here, I've got some lean ground beef that I browned up with some salt, pepper, minced garlic, and chopped up onion and red bell pepper. And I just cooked it until the meat was brown and the veggies were tender. Now I used lean ground beef, so I didn't have to drain that much fat off of it. Um, you might need to, uh, you know, drain quite a bit of fat off of it, depending on the like fat content of your meat. So once that was browned up, I just added all of the other ingredients and then allowed it to simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes. Give it a taste and adjust it to your taste. If you feel like it's a little thick, add a little bit more water. If you feel like it's a little too thin, just let it simmer for a couple extra minutes. 
to go along with this. I told you it's been an obsession of mine here lately. These are the sweet potato fries and seasoning I mentioned earlier. Just cooked it in my air fryer at 400 degrees for about seven or eight minutes and gave it a shake and then cooked it for another seven or eight minutes or so until the fries were done to my liking. Toasted up some brioche hamburger buns, added the sloppy joe meat. My husband likes cheese on his sloppy joes, uh, but he was at the gym when I ate dinner, so he ate later. And then we've got the fries and again, using some honey mustard for the fries. And this was a quick and easy, yummy dinner. For dinner the next night, I made a teriyaki chicken pizza. Now, I had a package of the Trader Joe's teriyaki chicken in my freezer that I needed to use up, and I intended to use that for this pizza, but I had some rotisserie chicken that I had shredded up that kind of needed to be used more urgently, so I'm going to use that. We'll do the frozen stuff for another day, but here's everything else that I'm going to use for my teriyaki chicken pizza. For the pizza crust, use your favorite store-bought or homemade. I've got the Pillsbury canned that I'm going to use. I've got some shredded mozzarella cheese, teriyaki sauce. Again, use your favorite homemade or store-bought. I have some fresh pineapple. You could also use canned. I've got that leftover rotisserie chicken that I mentioned. And it wasn't a lot, but I also happened to have just one single chicken breast that needed to be used up. So I just cooked up the chicken breast in the air fryer real quick, 360 degrees for about 20 minutes, and shredded that up. I also have some uh, green onions that I'm going to slice up to garnish on top. You don't have to add the green onions if you don't prefer. And last but not least, I saw some recipes, and I didn't follow an exact recipe, but I just looked up some recipes online, and some used crumbled bacon, so I'm going to add some of these bacon pieces. For that Pillsbury pizza crust, it had you par-bake just the pizza crust, no toppings, I think for like eight minutes or so, so that's what I've got here on this greased cookie sheet. To the par-baked crust, I'm going to add on the teriyaki sauce and spread that out. Next, I'm going to add some of the shredded mozzarella cheese. Next, I'm adding some of that rotisserie chicken that I mentioned. And then back in this white bowl back here is that cooked up chicken breast that I shredded that I mentioned. So I'm just adding that. I'm going to add my pineapple, and I could have been smart and cut this up, but honestly, I was just lazy and didn't want to mess with a cutting board and knife, so I just ripped it with my hands. And then I'm going to add on the crumbled bacon pieces with a little more shredded mozzarella on top. And then you totally don't have to do this next step. I just do it, honestly, because it just kind of looks a little bit nicer. But I'm going to take just a little bit of all of the toppings, the chicken, the pineapple, and the bacon, and add just a tiny little bit on top of the cheese. I'm going to pop this into the oven and finish baking it according to the package instructions. And then once it came out of the oven, it looked like this. So good. I garnished it with some of the green onions and did allow it to set for maybe about five minutes before I sliced it up for us. To go along with it, I have this Asian style chopped salad kit. I got this at Kroger. It's got cabbage, carrots, wonton strips, and a dressing, other goodies in it. Now, sometimes the salad dressings in these kits are a little skimpy. So just in case we needed extra salad dressing, I set out this Ken's Asian sesame. And then I found these like Asian salad toppings at Walmart. And as you can see, it's got all types of little yumminess in it. And so I just put together the salad with, um, um, some of the crunchies and then the salad dressing and last minute I decided to add in some mandarin oranges. All right here is a picture of our plates. We've got some of the pizza and the salad and that salad was so good and fresh tasting. Gary had seconds of the salad and for the pizza I added some sriracha mayonnaise to his pizza. Well I asked him before I just added it and he was like yes that sounds delicious. I had a second piece of pizza and I added some of that sriracha mayonnaise on top and I have to say I really liked it. So if you like things spicy I would suggest adding a little drizzle of that if you've got it. But this was delicious. Like I said the salad was good and that pizza was yummy and Gary was like do not get rid of those pizza of leftovers I want to have them so I recommend you give this a try super yummy dinner the next night was off a meal plan but to be perfectly honest I did not feel like cooking at all this night y'all I like practically had to make myself get up and cook dinner do you ever have those days I just I was like let's order something but I'm like no I need to cook something we got plenty of food so I just put this together real quick. I have the gyro meat from Trader Joe's. I got this, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago. I really needed to use it up. I have some of the Joseph's pita bread. 
For the veggies, I've got some shredded romaine, aroma tomato I'm gonna slice up, this red onion I'm gonna thinly slice, and then thinly slice the cucumber. Have this feta cheese, and then the boar's head tzatziki sauce. I've mentioned this before, but that tzatziki sauce from boar's head is really good. Now, for the euro slices, I just cook them according to the package instructions on top of this stove. It takes like no time at all. It literally takes like 10 seconds aside. You can also cook them in the microwave. Um, so I just cook them on top of the stove, like I said, like, took like 10 seconds per side so if you are looking for a really quick and easy dinner grab yourself some euro slices they don't have to be from trader joe's i've seen them in aldi i've seen them i think at Publix and kroger grab you some of that some pita bread and then tzatziki sauce boom you got a really quick and easy dinner so here are the plates i wasn't super hungry this night i just had a euro for gary i did a quick greek salad had some arugula lettuce i added some of that same chopped tomatoes, cucumbers, and feta that we use for the euros. And then I added some Kalamata olives. I just get the little packs of the Dollar Tree for him um, because I don't prefer olives. And so that's enough for him, you know, without them going to waste. And then I added some of the Gerard's Greek feta dressing and that was our dinner this night. For dinner the last night, we did Chinese takeout. For a long time, Gary and I had this little, I don't know if you want to call it tradition, but on Friday nights, we would either order a pizza, go grab a pizza, we'd order Chinese food, and we would sit on the couch and watch a movie. And I stopped doing that for a while, just quite honestly, because of comments um, on my video of, you know, it being so unhealthy or it being unrealistic or not budget friendly or, or whatever. And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to let that stop me. You know, we, we're going to start this tradition back. Maybe not every week, maybe every couple weeks, once a month, whatever, but we're going to start it back. So again, we ordered from our local little takeout place. I got the sweet and sour pork with fried rice. Gary got the sesame chicken with lo mein, we got egg rolls and crab wontons, and we had tons of leftovers. We had it for lunch the next day and we ate this while we watched Napoleon Dynamite. That's what we watched. We hadn't seen it in forever. So that was our dinner this night. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some dinner ideas from this video. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.